Hey guys, I'm back with another video in the Games in 30 Seconds series. This time we're going to talk about horror games. Why? Well, it's Halloween time! So if you're not familiar with this series, what I do is I have Mike over here off camera, and he's going to give me 20 random game titles to talk about. I don't know what the list is, so some of them I may not know. Hopefully I know all of them, but I don't know. And I only have 30 seconds to talk about each one. So let's get going. Alright, number one, Nightmare in the Dark. Oh, okay, um, this is a Neo Geo game. I like this game. It's a very vibrant, colorful game, even though it's horror-related. Um, you, you're, it's kind of like Bubble Bobble. You, there's, like, zombies and other types of things, and you, like, keep shooting fireballs, and then eventually, when you hit them enough, it turns into a fireball, and then you use that ball to hit other enemies, and there's bosses, like, I think the first one's a Frankenstein monster. It's a really fun game. It's an arcade game. Neo Geo. I think I already said that. It's fun. I like it. I, uh, ah. <laughs> See, I'm still getting in the swing of things. Okay, that was good. You knew it. Oh, was it? Okay. Alright, number two, Resident Evil 4. Oh, Resident Evil 4. Okay, so I played this on GameCube about a year ago, last Halloween. Um, I liked it more than I thought I would. And that's coming from someone that's pretty new to the Resident Evil games. Um, you play as Leon, you have like a shotgun, and then you gotta get, you gotta manage your items, which can get kind of nerve-wracking. But anyway, so you're like, you're in a village, or like around a village that's been possessed, so I don't know if they're zombies or technically people that have been possessed, I don't know. But then there's these chainsaw guys that are really scary and hard to kill, at least for me. And they have bags over their head. I don't like them. Stop! Okay. Was that good? Does that sum up what you've played of Resident Evil? Kind I haven't of? played it all that much, but that all sounds it's right. It's cool. I like it. Alright, ready? Number three, Decap Attack. Oh, Decap Attack. So I almost did a video on this like a few years ago. Um, so it's a Sega Genesis game. You play as like a mummy type looking guy and the whole gimmick of the game is you can use your head as a weapon and throw it. It's a side scroller. Um, it's spooky. Or maybe he's not a... maybe he's like a skeleton. I'm trying to remember, but anyway, I feel like I should like it more than I do. It's okay. Um, you're just throwing your head at enemies, and there's other weapons too, I think. And you run around. Stop. All right. Yeah, I think he's a, more of a mummy. Oh, um, okay. He's got, like, so I said mummy first. I guess that... I think the idea is like he's decapitated, but and his eyes are like in the middle of his body. Oh, know? that's right. Yeah. I'm but trying I mean, to remember. It's been a while yeah. since I've played it. All right. What's number four? Number four, Ghostbusters Two on NES. Okay, so this is not new Ghostbusters 2, which I always get confused. That's a PAL game. I like it better. But anyway, so this is Ghostbusters 2 that was released in America. Um, you know, it's based on the second movie. There's side-scrolling parts, I remember, where you, you have to shoot ghosts and dodge ghosts and things. And then there's a part where you're in the car and it's kind of like, I don't know if Bump and Jump is the right game I'm thinking of, but you have to like jump over things and stuff in the car. It's kind of funny. Um, it looks better than the first one. I, I blanked out. I like, I just had an out of body experience where I wasn't filming a video and I was just thinking of the game. I'm filming a video right now, oh god. Alright. <laughs> Alright, number five. I'm not ready. Number five. Oh god. Undead Line Mega Drive. Oh shit. Oh, that's the um, shmup one, right? Yes. Okay, so this is cool. It's so fucking hard. I cannot get anywhere in it, but it's really cool. So it's basically a shmup, vertical, you're a dude, and you get different weapons. You get like, I don't remember what the fucking rep weapons are, it doesn't matter. It's like boomerangs and swords and shit. I don't know, but there's so many things coming at you, and there's like a cemetery, you can pick between like, I think a sewer, um, like other things, and there's like Jasons. There's a part where a whole bunch of Jasons come at you. It's not literally Jason, but you know, it's Jason, but there's like a bunch Stop. of them. I like it, but it's too hard. <laughs> All right. Okay. Number six, you ready? Yes. Ghosts and Goblins NES. Okay, so it's Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, you know, you're King Arthur, and your girlfriend gets captured, and she has, like, cute blue hair. And then um, you, every time you get hit, you lose parts of your armor, and then you're in your underwear, which is really embarrassing. But you can get underwear back, and you have the knife, and then you have, like, the little um, the torch. And I like the little... The little ghosts that go yee! Like those that look like pigs in a blanket. I like those. Um, it's real it's known for being really hard. I've never beaten it. Stop! <laughs> there. Good. Alright, what's the next one? Alright, number seven, Porky's Haunted Holiday, Super Nintendo. <laughs> oh shit. Okay, so I just gotta say the all the Looney Tunes games, they're pretty nice looking. I feel like at least on Super Nintendo. I'm not saying they're good, but like the gra they're visually nice. Anyway, so this one, it's pretty impressive graphic-wise, but I remember 
the music be weirdly ominous for a Looney Tunes game. You're Porky Pig, there's like horror things, um, like ghosts and spooky things, and you're jumping around. It's it's fucking Porky Pig uh, in a side scroller like platformer. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't have more to say about Porky Pig, Mike. I mean, there's the little leprechaun guys. Oh god, I forgot about them. Yeah. And then you, I think you jump on them, and then two of them, they become two. It's we. I don't like it. I don't like that game. Yeah, it's weird. I don't, I don't like it. Unfortunately. You ready, right? Yes, I'm ready. Number, Number eight, eight, Taboo the Sixth Sense NES. Oh, that's based on the board game, right? The Is NES. That? Isn't there a board game called Taboo? I don't freaking know. I anyway. Think it is. Um, I know there was a James and Mike Mondays on it. Uh, I haven't seen any footage of it since watching that video. So, uh, it, it's like, kind of weird and spooky. I, I don't remember. The gist of it is like, oh, you gotta choose things or something. I think it's a board I don't know what to say about it. <laughs> What's taboo? Uh, stop. Okay, so I, I failed that It's sort one. of like a, uh, like a card, uh, what are they called? Tarot cards. Oh, tarot cards. Tarot cards. Okay. It's sort of like that. Okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's terrible, so the fact that you don't know that one it's is okay. fine. That game sucks. I, I thought it was, it's a hit, creepy, I thought it was a hidden gem or something mm -hmm. amazing that I'm mm -hmm. missing out on. No, it's like ass. Okay. <laughs> Alright, what's the next one? Alright, uh, number nine, Musia, Super Famicom. Oh, oh, okay. So, um, this to me, at first glance, it kind of reminds me of Castlevania Bloodlines, if you're Eric Lacard, because the dude in this game has like a little staff thing and you can downward thrust and all that. Um, I remember it being really sluggish, because I was excited to try it out, but it's very sluggish from what I remember. And it's just like, there's some enemies, like one looks like the Heath Ledger Joker head crawling around. That's the only enemy I remember, because I remember thinking he looks like that. Um, Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Not much to say. Alright, number 10. Okay. Ghost Manor Atari 2600. Ooh, an Atari game. Um, oh, this is the one in the beginning. So it's a guy and a girl, and there's like a little rainbow ghost. And I think that ghost is so cute. He flies around, and then you have to chase it. And then there's a level where it's a castle. There's like a weird skeleton guy, and you just have to clear the screen. There's like stuff everywhere, like bats and birds. I don't know what else. I just remember the skeleton. And then after that, I don't remember, but it's like, I don't know, I don't know what to say about it. You play as the girl, and you're shooting up. Stop. <laughs> That's all I remember. Okay, number 11, Friday the 13th on NES. Oh, alright, so this is a game I've been putting off streaming for a long time because I don't freaking understand what to do. So, you play as camp, camp counselors. You know, Jason is purple. I like that. I like his coloring. I think that's fun. <laughs> um, and then there's like, so you have a map, and then you can go in the woods. And I remember you get, I got lost in the woods a lot when I would try to play it. And then there's parts where it's like, I don't know, not 3D, but like first person. And then you go into different cabins, and you try to find Jason. And then when Jason Stop. comes, you just hit him or something. There's rocks. I went over yeah, my time. Over time. Whatever. <laughs> and it's like now that my juices are going, I'm like, oh, you throw rocks. <laughs> All right, number 12. Okay, what's number 12? Ghoul Patrol on Super Nintendo. Oh, Goo Patrol. Goo Patrol. <laughs> That's the follow-up to Zombies Ate My Neighbor, ghoul. right? I know, I said goo. But it's ghoul. That's the follow-up to Zombies Ate My <laughs> Neighbors, right? I don't know anything about it because I haven't played it. I don't think I've played it. Um, I assume it's more of the same. You're running around, like, trying to zap monsters Pretty and much. zombies. Okay. You haven't played it? No, I haven't. Oh, I should've okay. played that. I don't think I've played it. It's alright, it, but you're right. That's cool. I like Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Stop! <laughs> okay. Okay. Go Patrol. I meant that I might have slurred that. I, I, I meant to it. say... Whatever. Go Patrol. <laughs> All right, well, here's the spooky number for you. Number Ooh. 13. That's Taylor Swift's favorite number, Mike. Fra great. <laughs> I should cut that out. Frank <laughs> Frank right. Frankenstein the Monster Returns on NES. Oh, Frankenstein the Monster. Okay, so this game, it's like, it kind of gives me Castlevania 2 vibes for sure, especially with the way you get hit. It looks like the way Simon kind of has like the, what do you call it, when you get kicked back. Anyway. Um, so you get different weapons. I just remember you get this club and you, it's just funny because it's like kind of shitty because it's like there's no range so you just have to get up to a monster's face and beat him with the club. Then there's like a dragon comes out of the water like so. Um, Stop! Yeah. <laughs> I want to I wanna play more of that. 
All right, number 14, Gremlins 2 on NES. Gremlins 2. Okay, um, I haven't seen Gremlins 2, but that's okay. Um, you're Gizmo, and you're running around. It looks like an office building. And you gotta pay attention to your shadow a lot, because I remember there's a lot of, like, moving platforms, and you gotta jump onto moving platforms. And it's, like, top-down, I think. And you have weapons, like... I think you get a paperclip, or you start out with a match. Um, it doesn't- it doesn't seem bad. From what I've played of it, it doesn't seem bad. Stop! But it's hard. Alright, number 15, Luigi's Mansion on GameCube. Okay, uh, Luigi's Mansion, if that came out when I was a kid, I think I would have liked it more. That being said, I still think it's fun. You play as Luigi, you have your little ghost sucker upper, you go into a mansion, and you have to find ghosts. It's fun. Um, I haven't played it much, because it never really sucked me in. No pun intended. But, um, it's cool. You play as Luigi. It's his own game. And he's sucking up ghosts in a mansion. They, like, haunt, like, Stop. lights and fixtures. <laughs> What's that? Did that make any sense? I don't- It's just one of those games where, like, I know what Luigi's Mansion is, yeah. but when you asked me it, it caught me off guard. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to say about it. It's fucking <laughs> Luigi's Mansion. I don't know. I mean, you're not wrong. You what? go okay. around the mansion and suck up ghosts. Alright, there you go. Yeah. Alright, number 16. Okay. Alien Storm on Genesis. Alien Storm is not Alien Soldier. Alien Storm's different. Alien Storm... So it's kind of like a side-scrolling... It's not a beat em up, but you have a weapon that's like. An, oh, when, okay, so I played as the girl, and she kind of looks like April and you only have a flamethrower. And then there's like monsters, like, it kind of looks like it's inspired by the thing. Um, because, you know, the whole torch with the. Not flamethrower, but a torch, and you're like torching these like slob, slob gummy monsters. And then there's like the snail with Stop. the trash can. I like that one. <laughs> that's all I remember. All right. Number 17. Okay. Zombie Nation on NES. Oh my god, Zombie Nation on NES. So this game's nuts. Like, I can't believe it's real. So it's that one where you're- it's a shmup, well shoot or whatever, I don't know. And you're just a guy's head. And you shoot uh, projectiles out of your face. And, um, but he's, it also looks like you're supposed to save people. But I thought you're the bad guy because you're destroying building. It's really fucking bizarre. Um, it has a funny intro, like about the Statue of Liberty being possessed or something, from what I remember. I should do a video on that game. It's Stop. insane. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> but the game is nuts. It's nuts. Alright, number 18, Night Slashers. Oh, Night- okay, so I really like this game. It's a side-scrolling beat-em-up. Um, I just remember the blonde guy kind of looks like Simon Belmont-ish. And then he can play as a girl and another guy I don't remember. But anyway, there's three characters to choose from. Um, they all have different attacks, obviously. You're fighting, like, zombies and various monster-type things. There's a lot of knives. <laughs> um, it's from Daddy East. It's a really good game. It's on the Switch. It's on, I think, Neo Geo anyway. Or maybe it's just Arcade. It's good. I don't really know what else to say about it. So, um, it's been a while. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, you get the all idea. Alright, we got two more left. Okay. Number 19, Alien vs. Predator, the arcade game. Oh, the arcade game. So. Alien vs. Predator Arcade I have not played. It looks fun though, from what I remember. Um, I don't really know what to say about it at all. I haven't played it. I don't know. I haven't seen footage of it in a very long time. I have any idea what the game is. 20, uh, no. Seconds left. no! I have no, no idea. idea. This is the hardest I've bombed, I think. <laughs> I just- I have no thoughts. I don't know. I'm sorry. Stop. What do you think about the game, Mike? Do you uh, like it? Yeah, is it good? I streamed it once years ago. Oh, okay. It is, it is good. It's a, it's like a side-scrolling arcade game where you're it, you're shooting aliens and stuff. Okay. It's pretty much, I don't know what to say about it either. Actually. I don't know. <laughs> I, I streamed sounds great. the whole game. You pop in quarters and you <laughs> yeah. shoot aliens. Yeah, I mean, it sounds yeah. fun. Yeah. It's cool. Last one. Okay, last one. Oh my number, gosh. Number 20, House of the Dead 2 Dreamcast. Oh, okay, that's the one where you use the light gun. Um, I did a video on it last year. It's fun, I like it. But the you gotta keep the trigger, it fucking hurts your hands and arms. Anyway, so you're just shooting a lot of zombies. And there's one where you're getting in a boat, you gotta shoot j zombies from the boat. Um, there's like a boss rush at the end that's kind of nuts. There's the guy that flies in the beginning. He says something funny, and I can't remember what it is. But it's a really fun game. I love that Stop. game. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know if I described it, but I like it a lot. And that is it. So going down the list here real quick, mm -hmm. uh, I'd say you did pretty good. Okay. Um, you didn't seem to know... Sorry, oh, Taboo, The Sixth Sense, which yeah. I kind of blame you. That game sucks. You don't sorry. need to know that. I don't know Taboo. Um, and you didn't know Ghoul Patrol. That's no. worth playing. I mean, I know of it, and it's on my list of games to play. It's just... You haven't played it. Yeah, so I'm like, I have nothing to say, and I don't even think, I mean, I must have seen somebody play it, but yeah. I can't remember anything about it. And then Alien vs. Predator, the arcade game. Yeah. But you know what I have to say about that, even if you did play it, like, I don't know what to say like, about it either. Yeah, because there's some <laughs> games, it's like, like Night Slashers, for example, right. it's like, I played it, I really enjoyed it, but it's just, after, it's been like a year, I think, and it's just like, I don't, I don't really remember much to say. <laughs> but I will say, I was impressed you got on Deadline. Yeah, that. that one's nuts. It's because I was really excited to play it. Yeah. And when I finally played it, I was like, oh, I can't advance anywhere in this game. It's very um, soul crushing, but it's good. It's just a little too hard. And I don't usually like to say that because it's always like, oh, just get good. But I think it's a little insane. But maybe that's the charm. <laughs> All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this installment of Games in 30 Seconds. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back again soon. Bye!